Hi there, today we'll look at New Hampshire. It's a small state, but this year it's an interesting and important one. New Hampshire historically has been a little bit different from the rest of New England. It's been more conservative, uh, more Republican, for a lot of reasons for this. Uh, it's industrial history, it's political history. Uh, it's always stood a little bit apart from the rest of New England. In recent years, the last 15 or 20 years, as New England has become pretty solidly blue, New Hampshire hasn't followed that trend until just recently, in the last couple of elections. And now, New Hampshire has one Republican senator, Judd Gregg, who's retiring, but the other senator is Democratic, Gene Shaheen, both House seats, it has two House districts, both of them are held by Democrats, and Barack Obama won the state handily in 2008. So there were a lot of stories in 2008, I might have written one of them myself, that said New Hampshire has finally turned blue. But things may be about to change. Three races in New Hampshire, all kind of competitive, but all certainly leaning Republican. Let's start with the Senate race. The Republican is Kelly Ayotte. She's a former attorney general. She beat a Tea Party challenger in the Republican primary. She's still quite conservative herself, but the Republicans of New Hampshire, unlike the Republicans of Delaware, uh, nominated the more electable person. The Democrat is a guy named Paul Hodes. He is a sitting member of the House of Representatives, elected, I think, in 2006, uh, trying to step up to Senate. Uh, has a good House record, but this is not the kind of year for Democrats to step up from the House to the Senate, necessarily, in a state like New Hampshire. Ayotte is ahead uh, eight points or so. It's still somewhat competitive. Uh, Hodes could pull it out, but it looks like Ayotte is ahead. Uh, the most interesting ad that I've seen looking through the ads of these two candidates is this one from Hodes, which he filmed in front of a hot dog eating contest uh, in Lake Winnipesaukee. Let's take a look. This is what I see every day in Congress. It's why I voted against the Wall Street bailouts. I'm working to bring back the Graham Rudman spending limits. I refuse to take earmarks, and I voted against every single congressional pay raise. I approve this message because you deserve a senator who's a real fiscal conservative and who gets rid of the pork. How about that last guy? That's quite a sight, eh? Uh, obviously, Hodes is trying to say that he's a Democrat who's not going to be a big spender when he goes to Washington. Interesting how he said them in Washington, too, when he's kind of one of them. Uh, he's run a lot of tough attack ads on Ayotte. Uh, she's run a lot of tough ads back. Uh, it's a very bitter race, uh, but one in which Ayotte is ahead. Now let's move to the House races. District 1, the incumbent is Carol Shea Porter, Democrat, first elected in 2006 as New Hampshire was bluing itself. Uh, the Republican is a mayor from in the district, a guy named Frank Ginta. He is expected to win this race, uh, defeating this incumbent, so that would be a Republican pickup. Uh, not everyone has been crazy about Frank Ginta. Uh, even the Manchester Union leader, the very conservative uh, flagship newspaper in the state, uh, said in endorsing one of his primary opponents, uh, Ginta has not impressed us at all. Uh, they gave him one sentence, that's all they said. Uh, and so they obviously weren't too crazy about the guy, but somehow it's probably not going to matter. He's probably going to win the seat. The second district is a little closer. Uh, the Democrat is Ann Custer. She's a lawyer. She's involved with a lot of nonprofits. Uh, she's been active in the Democratic Party for a number of years. Uh, the Republican is a guy named Charlie Bass. Charlie Bass was a member of the House of Representatives at one time. Uh, this is a district that definitely leans Democratic. Uh, but so Bass is trying to do a very interesting thing here. Uh, look at this ad that he uh, has had on the air. Partisan politicians in Washington say you can't fight to lower taxes and secure more money for schools, but I have. Politicians say you can't support business and fight to protect the environment, but I do. And they say you can't vote against your president or party leaders, but that's exactly what I've done when I thought it was in the best interest of the people I represent. I'm Charlie Bass, and I approve this message. They also say it's hard to be independent in Washington, but it's never been hard for me. That's a different approach for a Republican this year, isn't it? Uh, he's trying to say he's independent. He talks about the environment. He says that he can break from his party, obviously something you only do in a Democratic-leaning district. Custer has actually outraised Bass, but some independent expenditures are coming in for Bass pretty heavy. This is 
considered to be a closer race than the one in the first district, but it also is thought to be leaning Republican. So I focus on New Hampshire because this is a pretty good indicator, I think. A state that uh, people thought in 2006, 2008 was going blue, but now seems to be going in the other direction. Uh, the Senate seat would not be a pickup. It would go from Republican hands to Republican if Ayotte wins. But both House seats would be Republican pickups if the Republicans hold on.